Right now, snow is starting to head out of New Mexico, but for the past 24 hours, it hit places around the metro and made for slow going on the roads. KOET Action 7 News reporter Kirsten Swanson shows us some of the impact. Tom Dean was up before the sun this morning training his three dogs in the East Mountains. What were you seeing up there? And, and the uh, some of the snowflakes were oh, a dollar and bigger. Yeah, some of the real big stuff. That snow set in right before sunrise on Cedillo Hill. Roads became slick in spots. Cars and trucks had to slow down as they drove along the interstate. Dean told me things were so bad, by the time he got to I-40, he almost got stuck. Some of the roads are a little slushy. Uh, you get down into Edgewood, they're icy. Dangerously icy. I've seen a couple of cars that have spun. One person who braved the bad roads was Fred Padilla from Edgewood. He was watching more in the morning and saw my photographer Ariana and I camped out on Cedillo Hill. Yes, and I thought you were cold and hungry, so I brought you some gourmet Belgian hot chocolate and some steak fajita breakfast burritos. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And Fred, both the hot chocolate and breakfast burritos were delicious. In the East Mountains, I'm Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. Well, it was very thoughtful. Well, other parts of the metro got hit with early morning weather, too. Here's a look at light snow in Rio Rancho just after sunrise. The flakes there were sticking to the grass, but melting right when they hit the pavement. A Rio Rancho U local user sent us this photo showing just how much snow fell around 10th Street. Looks like about three and a half inches on this back porch, which means no grilling for Super Bowl Sunday. And this pristine shot was posted by a viewer in Chimayo. It looks like a postcard with all the frozen trees along the roadside. 